Uh, today's video is going to be on 8 millimeter cordage uh, rated for 16 kilonewtons or 3,597 pounds. We're going to show you four different ways to attach the cordage to the rope or press the cord to the rope. Uh, the first way is going to be a triple wrap. So I attach this rope, uh, or the, I'm sorry, this cordage with a double fisherman's bend. This is cut at five foot. So I'll cut them at five and six feet lengths depending on where I'm going to use them. Um, so this one's a five foot piece. And we're going to go ahead and wrap this three times around the rope on itself. So this will be your triple wrap. I hold one end of the presser cord in the rope with uh, one hand. I take the knot and wrap it with the other. So three times. One, two, and three. And then what I do is I go ahead and leave the top dressed and just pull the bottom. And what that does is it allows me to move the double fisherman's bend out of the way for the carabiner. So it dresses really nice. Where we'd use this is we're going to use this for our tandem prussic belay. We're also going to use it for our load capture um, in our haul systems on our COD pulleys. If you guys are still using those, not IDs or NPDs. Um, uh, some guys use this or they, they'll wrap this for their load cams as well. The problem is with using them as a load cam is when you go ahead and try to reset your system, if you have a, you know, your 5 to 1 complexes or your Z rigs and you want to go ahead and reset your system, when this really gets tight, it's hard to move up and down the rope. Um, kind of, you know, it's really tough. So you have to kind of loosen it up as you move it back and forth and reset it. But what's great about this one is that it's a, a multi-directional hitch, meaning that I can pull up, I can pull down, the holding power is the same. So the disadvantages to it, like I said, are, are the to resetting, to moving it up and down the rope. So I wouldn't probably use this on an, an ascending evolution or rope axis evolution. Um, and the other problem that we see, or not problem, but the disadvantage would be, is when I'm going to, go to remove it. So I have to go from a raising to a lowering rather, rather quickly, and I'm using this as my soft camps. When this is super tight to pull it, you can't just kind of pull it and remove it. You have to unwrap each leg, right, like you built it, and then eventually it'll come off. So not that it's a bad thing or it's tough, just a little bit different. All right, so that's the first one. The next one we're going to do is called an asymmetrical presser glue attachment. Now, all that means is that instead of doing the triple wrap, we're going to have three, three and three, basically, when we wrap it. Now, we're going to have four and one. So, what I did for this one is I basically, you can get these pre-sewn into loops, but I went ahead to add barrel knots in either end. So, we have two barrel knots on a six-foot piece this time, a um, piece of eight-millimeter presser cord. And asymmetrical means just that, that their wraps aren't going to be even. So, how we're going to start this is just like we did the other one. I'm going to go ahead and make a bite, grab my presser cord, feed it through the rope. And this time, I'm going to drop the bottom leg, and I'm kind of let it just hang there. The top one, I'm going to wrap four times. So one, two, get this carabiner out of the way here, two, three, and four complete turns. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pull this and dress this up so my knots are pretty much even. And as you can see, we have four on the top, one, two, three, four. And then if you don't really count this one, you could if you're five, but then one on the bottom. So these two knots are gonna to come together with the carabiner. All right, so what's great about this one is that this has all the holding power of the triple wrap. So as you can see, is if I pull down on this, it holds really, really well, and you could really load this and it bites down, okay? The good part about this is that when I want to reset it, it's very easily resettable. Because the holding power is all from for pulling down on the, on the top wraps, that it's very easy to move to reset. So this one I would probably tend to use for, um, if I have an unconscious victim on a rope, I wanna get his chest closer to the rope, I'll wrap this. I also use this to wrap uh, my legs of my rope bridle to make the, uh, the leg part uh, adjustable. Um, and also use this for my load cams and my hauling systems because it's so much easier to to adjust Like I said, the holding power is the same uh, Just because of the amount of wraps that we have in here as it would be for the triple wrap The bad side to this is that it's a unidirectional hitch meaning that I cannot uh, Pull both ways on it. Obviously if I pull up on it, it slides up easy And then if I pull down the way it's supposed to be loaded, it actually bites down. So uh, If you wrap this the wrong way, obviously you're not going to get uh, any any hold with it. So you got to make sure you wrap it the right way, but super easy. And I like it uh, for that as far as the resetting purposes are, are. 
All right, so the next one we're gonna do is the Clem Heist. Uh, I'm gonna start off with my two open ends of my cordage. I'm gonna show you guys how I, I uh, tie my double fisherman's bend. Um, I'm sure you guys all know how to do this, but I'm just gonna show it to you anyway. So I go ahead and lay both pieces of cordage over top of each other. I wrap over the top to me twice. So one, two, and it's essentially just a barrel knot. I spin it and I tie the same exact thing. The reason why I turn it is so I can get the X's to meet up right in the middle and flat on both sides. Okay, so we have the double fish plate. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and wrap my clem ice. Now, what I like to do is I like to keep the bite at the bottom and the knot relatively short and I'll wrap up on this rope since this is uh, this hanging, hanging. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up towards it I'm gonna pull down on it, right? So I'm always gonna wrap towards what I wanna pull against. So I'm gonna wrap it up. Take up all this, pretty much all the slack up into the cordage. And then when I have a, a decent enough bite here, what I'm gonna do is I don't wanna wrap it all the way because the bite's not gonna fit, right? So I wanna go ahead and give myself a little bit of, of wiggle room. And I'm gonna grab the bottom end, stick it through the top and pull down. The key is to make sure that the knot, if you tied one that's not sewn in, passes your hitch, right? So you don't want it to sit up in here and, and get caught up. Where we use this one is the same thing, load cam. Okay, so I'll use it to go ahead and grab the load in my hauling systems. I also could use it for, like I said, keeping a uh, victim up to the rope if they're unconscious on their sternal D-ring. Um, but the pros to this is one, that it has great holding power, okay? As you can see, and it doesn't really slide down when you put pressure on it, so, but it has great holding power and um, it's really easy to tie. Um, and to identify and you can also undo it very easily as well which we're gonna do in a minute the cons to it it is a unidirectional hitch meaning that it's not meant to be loaded um, backwards okay or upside down so I don't want to ever really pull up on this thing and it's uh, it takes up a, a good little bit of room on your on your rope but like I said we want to tie it very easily even if after it's loaded is all I have to do is grab the bite the top bite and pull and this will just go ahead and unravel. So when you go from a raising to a lowering system, it comes apart pretty easy. All right, the last one that we're gonna do is going to be called the VT. Now the VT is, is used a lot in the uh, arborist world. Um, I know some uh, rope access guys use it too, but this, this knot, or this hitch rather, is really good for, for a, a load release um, it's good for changing over once you're on, uh, like in a rope axis evolution. And it's, it's great for grabbing that unconscious victim again, strapping them to the rope, or just attaching the prussic cord to the rope anywhere, to be honest with you. It does take quite a bit of room up on the rope, all right? Um, so that's kind of, you'll see that in a minute. So the first part to this is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and wrap, I'm gonna hold them parallel. I'm just gonna wrap the top four times. One, two, three, and four. Now I'm gonna go ahead and even out my knots to make sure that they're about the same. Now the key to this, so it doesn't slip on you, is we're gonna, first one we're gonna do is we're gonna pinch the top piece of cordage under the bottom. That's gonna be your first cross, okay? So you wanna go ahead and take the top piece and pinch it under the bottom piece. So it looks like this. Then on the way down, you're gonna wrap this or cross this about four or five times, but you're gonna alternate which one's on top. So obviously this one's on top here, this one's on the bottom. So the next time I do it is this one's gonna be on top and then the other one's gonna be in the bottom. All right, so I'll go over here. So same thing, this, this one is on, you see this one's on the top, so it's gonna be on the bottom this time. And we're just gonna alternate them back and forth until we used up all the cordage. Then we're gonna go ahead and take our carabiner and drop it through the two barrel knots that I have attached. All right, and we're gonna load it. Now, what is the, the main benefit to this hitch? Is one, is if I'm using it for like a rope axis and I attach myself to it, it's very easy to move up the rope. It's kind of like a Chinese finger in the way that it reacts. So I can slide it up, I pull down, it loads. The best part about this is if I need to unload or change, for, change my load to another device, as I slipped into the ID, um, all I'd have to do is under load is pull down the top of it and it releases very easily on the rope. So it's easy to be adjusted. We pull down, 
you can slide it up. Um, so it's great for a load release. All right, so to conclude, uh, just to show you the hitches one more time, here's our triple wrap, for the double fisherman's bend. Then we have our asymmetrical presser loop attachment. So we wrapped four uh, on the top, we have one on the bottom. Uh, a unidirectional hitch, so make sure that you load it the right way. Pulls down, doesn't work very good in the opposite way, which could be to your benefit, depends how you use it. We have the Clem Heist, which is wrapped and great for your uh, load cams. All right, like I said, grips really well. Um, benefit is it comes off the rope very smoothly, very quickly, going from a raising to a lowering. And we have the VT, okay? Great for your load releases to do your transfers.